Accepting a friend request on social media meant that Kristen Pratt had opened the door to the sleaziest psychopath she could have come across. You don't want me for a life, Kristen Pratt? That's a very, very unwise decision. And he said, this man's gonna kill you. And he said, that's what I've been trying to tell everybody, but nobody wants to help me. The young woman was a quiet college student, but a message from a former high school classmate would completely change her life forever. I used to have dreams that he found out where I lived and broke into my house and waited till I went to sleep and would kill me. The first messages were completely friendly, two ex-classmates wanting to catch up. However, everything would soon take a dark and sordid turn. Whatever you want, whatever makes you happy, that's what I want. Patrick McKeown's obsession became clear. Please just listen to me and let me be nice. We need to talk face to face. The videos he sent her were becoming more and more disturbing, until one day he decided to go beyond all limits. That's a very, very unwise decision. It's up to you now. Save your own life. Not only were the calls and messages insistent and angry in tone, they began to become threats against Kristen's life. Patrick began to hang around the places she usually visited, all with the idea of satisfying his twisted perversions. You don't want me for a life, Kristen Pratt? That's a very, very unwise decision. The college girl couldn't be at peace anywhere. Even though she had yet to see her accuser face to face, she began making drastic decisions to protect her own life. I park close to where I'm going always because I don't want to park too far away. It gives me more space to get attacked or hurt. Patrick's perverse games were getting worse and worse. He would videotape himself near Kristen's work as she walked by. His videos were explicit and only showed that something wasn't right in the accuser's head. Muchas veces detrás de un acosador hay de repente un un pensamiento de injusticia, donde por ejemplo hay un otro que el que a mí no me no me ve no ve mi propia vulnerabilidad y entonces como yo no me hago como yo no me veo tengo que hacer que me que, que ellos me vean a mí entonces dentro de este proceso lo que ellos hacen es empezar a transgredir los límites in sickness and in health until the day you die three years went by where the young woman had to live with this dealing with the constant harassment of a man who had become obsessed with her and who wouldn't leave her alone, even though she did everything she could. And it would take a coincidence for the police to put Patrick behind bars. I thought I had a car burglar, and I, I, when I opened the backpack, I, I thought I would find um, maybe stolen car stereos or GPSs in there. What he found, however, was what he needed to send him to prison. A camera with disturbing videos and sex toys or enough material to bring him to trial, and in a way, end Kristen's ordeal. What was it like having to be face to face with this man? You're still playing games! Really scary. I was breathless. It took my breath. I, I couldn't breathe. The persistent stalker would spend only two years in jail, so to this day, he walks as a free man. Despite all the harm he caused Kristen, in his eyes, what he was doing didn't amount to a crime. I wasn't, because that would imply that someone was in danger. So that's why I would just say I was looking for someone. And other than that, I would say I was typing under the influence. That's what I call it.